Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world only calls God. Yahweh Shah is the true name of the Most High's only begotten Son, who the world only calls Jesus, Bahashem, in the name, Rekha Kodash, the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, every well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole four legs scattered abroad. So, Brother Yuanathan, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Lord willing, this lesson be edifying, all right? And don't want to make this um, too long, but, all right, I got a couple precepts I want to go into, man. And it's about how these uh, these Christians are right, that, you know, these Christians in these churches are right, that still calling on that J word, all right? They, they aren't going to get it, man, all right? And majority of them, are the two thirds, man, and we know the judgment that's what's gonna happen to the two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. All right, they're gonna be all right destroyed on this side, man. All right, for their disobedience, man. Okay, for their for them, all right, following after the ways of Esau, okay, and not hearkening, all right. And the reason why you know the reason why I wanted to bring this lesson out is because, all right, um. Our people are hypocrites, okay? They proclaim as if they, all right, follow the Heavenly Father, all right, look for His ways, all right, or try to, you know, try to act righteous. But at the end of the day, all right, just like how the scriptures say, all right, in their works, you know, they, you know, they are far from me, all right, but in their, you know, with their lips, they honor Him. All right, and that's how these Christians are. All right, as soon as you start reading what's in this Bible, then it's a problem. All right, but hey, everybody loves the J word, man. Everybody loves this and that until you start telling these people, all right, what actually comes from the scripture, man. And that's why the scripture, all right, likens the two thirds of the nation of Israel as what? Hypocrites, man. All right, and they all filled in these church houses, man. All right. And yeah, let me get. Jeremiah, the third chapter. All right. And I'm going to start at verse. And I'm going to start at verse 15. And it reads, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right. And that is speaking of what? The Lord's men. All right. Uh, the prophets that out here prophesying. All right. Uh, first and foremost, the downfall of this uh, wicked society. All right. But a hey, also preaching. All right. Um, uh, preaching unto them that the most high Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. The nation of Israel are his people, are the chosen people. All right. And they have to turn back and repent. All right. From what they are doing. All right, but these people would want these people want to hear smooth things. All right, they want them to what prophesy, de prophesy deceits. All right, because they want the men of the Lord speak. All right, they're telling you the truth, and these people in the world do not want to hear the truth. All right, they want to hear smooth things and deceits. All right, they want to hear lies, man. All right, so that's why the Heavenly Father t uh, says that I will give you pastors according to mine heart, all right, and which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right, and, uh, and the knowledge and understanding comes from the Bible, all right, these scriptures, okay, and when you go into these churches, they do not read anything, all right, that's out this Bible, and if they do, it's about prosperity. All right. It's about uh, love. All right. But they don't go into how the Heavenly Father hates. All right. The Heavenly Father. All right. Uh, the destruction that's going to come to this place. All right. So that's why the Lord says he will give you pastors according to his to his heart. All right. And those are what the Lord's men, which you see now, Lord will be be part of that number. All right. And I also wanted to grab um, Isaiah, the 30th chapter. OK. Verse 20, all right, and it reads, And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, 
Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. All right, and a hey, and that's what we a hey, hey, and that's what we see now. When you go to the highways and byways, you see the Lord's uh teachers. You see the Lord's men are right, teaching the the truth. All right, and starting with Great Millstone teaching the one hundred percent truth, man. All right, the Lord does the, the Lord is not putting his uh his men on the shelf anymore. All right, because before. Every before the downfall, before the Lord sends destruction upon his place, he sends back his men, all right, to warn the people aforetime, man. All right. Um gonna grab <clears throat> Amos, the fifth, all right, the fifth chapter. All right. And I'm gonna start at verse 18, and it reads, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. All right, hey, and and when the son of hey, when Yahweh Shah makes his return, a lot of hey, these Christians are going to be all right. Uh, if I could, if <laughs> I'm thinking of the right word. These Christians are gonna be shit out of luck, man. All right, because this whole time, all right, they've been praising and worshiping a white Jesus, man. All right, they have been all right doing wickedness. All right, they are. Right, they've been doing things according to their heart, leaning to their own understanding. Especially when the Lord had the Lord has has his men out here are right, preaching the right things. These people have been doing what they wanted to do, man. All right, and especially in these churches. All right, hey, it's these Christians, man. These Christians always talk about. Oh, I can't wait for the return. All right, that's why the scripture says. That's why the scripture says what. Woe unto you that des that desire the day of the Lord. And that woe means destruction. All right. Verse 19. And as a and as a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and bit and a serpent bit him. Sh shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light and very dark and no brightness in it. All right. Hey, when the sun, hey, when Yahweh shot makes his return to judge this place. All right. It's gonna be it's gonna be tribulation upon tribulation. All right, it's gonna be judgment upon judgment. All right, but that's why when you go to um um First Peter chapter four verse seventeen. All right, it says what? For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, and if it fir and if it first begins at us. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High, man? All right. So, hey, man, judgment is going to begin, all right, at those that know they are Israelites, man. And majority of these, 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 these pastors in these churches, they know, all right. But because they have, what, a 501c3 all right, that have been paid off, all right, they are not telling their people, all right, warning their people. All right. So it's going to be it's going to be mass judgment. For those, man. All right. And it says, and the scripture says, man. All right. It says, and if it first begins at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the most high, man? All right. And who does not obey the gospel of this mo of the most high? Yahweh Bashim al These people that's in these church houses, man, are starting that with these Christians, man. Okay, they profess out their mouth that they love the Lord. They profess, all right, all these things. All right, hey, so even they try to tell you, all right, even though you are doing the things that's pleasing unto the Lord, they will try to tell you about yourself. All right, but the whole time they still eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. They still calling on the letter J. They still smoking weed. They still doing all this wickedness, man. All right, so we know that it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be judgment. All right, for these Christians, man. All right, and Lord willing, you know this lesson is edifying. All right, or you know you brothers or few or few sisters can receive this, man. All right, but we coming into to the you know we know through the scripture they say in the last times, all right, um, in the last days perilous times shall come. All right, and it tells you about uh, you know matter of fact, let's get that. Um. I think it's 
2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 3, starting at the top. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedience to parents, unthankful, and unholy, without with, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, hidey, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of the most high, man. All right, and we've seen that all in these last days, man. All right, but we know who's the most proud, man. The most proud are these people that, all right, come from church on, you know, on, on Sunday, man. Okay? What does the scripture say, man? They high-minded, you know, lovers of pleasures, all right, more than lovers of the most high. All right, and, that, and that's all Christians, man. They outwardly tell you, all right, what they're doing. They outwardly say this and that. All right, but when it's time to get to the nitty-gritty, and when it's time, all right, to get into the scriptures and eat the whole roll, all right, there's a problem, man. All right, so it's gonna be destruction, man. They're gonna, it's gonna be judgment for the, f especially for these Christians, man. All right, and you know, let's get back in. Um, let me grab Zechariah, Zechariah chapter seven. All right, this is Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. All right, yeah, they made their hearts as an amandant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which, which the Lord of hosts hath sent in his spirits by the former prophets. Therefore came a wrath. Slocky. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. All right. Hey, and again, I'm backing up what I was just, you know, backing up what I was just saying, man. All right. These people refuse to hearken, man. They refuse to hear. All right. All right. What was what was truly about to happen? OK. All right. They pulled they, they pulled a shoulder. All right. They stopped their ears. All right, when, hey, when the men of the Lord are on the house and by way telling you the truth, all right, and that's what we do. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh we are ordained, all right, to, you know, we are ordained to tell you the truth from the Holy Scripture so the blood could be off our hands, man. All right, but hey, that's when the demons come out, people scoff, all right, because this is the truth. And that's why what? It says that, um, it says, a great wrath. All right. Therefore came a great wrath all right, from the Lord of hosts. Why? Because these people have been disobedient, man. All right. These people don't want to hear the truth. These people want to keep doing after they lust. These people want to keep doing after the, what, what they want to do. OK, so that's why severe judgment is going to come to the house of Israel, man. All right. Hey, two thirds of our people are going to cut off and die on this side, man. And it has to happen, man. All right. You know, and, and, and when you sit back and think about it, it's 1144, call like how about the Lord literally has to kill these people, man. All right. Because they won't get it, man. Hey, you know, and so lock you if I'm, you know, rambling. All right. But, you know, it's just the spirit, man. All right. Now, this is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. And it reads, wherefore the Lord said. For as much as these people draw near, so like I'm reading from the top again, wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near with me with their mouths and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their hearts far from me and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. All right. Hey, so just like, you know, just like how hey, when you go into the book of Matthew, they say these, um, it's that scripture. All right, but the point is, all right, these people with their mouth, they worship the heavenly father. With their mouth, they'll tell you, all right, they're doing this, they're doing that. All right, but what? It says that, but have removed their heart far from me, meaning their mind, okay? In their mind, they don't think about the heavenly father or the heavenly father judgment, okay? 
All right. And it says that what their fear toward me is taught by the priests of men. And that and that's speaking about those men in the church houses, man. All right. It's about these pastors. OK. Uh, uh, Creflo Dollar. T.D. T.D. Jakes. All right. Joe Olstein. All right. Teaching you to you. You can do whatever you want when you want all this peace and prosperity. OK. And that's why these people are going to be judged, man. All right. Hey, because these people are not these people are not going to have an excuse in that day to come. All right. They're not going to have an excuse that they did not hear the truth, man. All right. Even when we tell or proclaim, all right, Christians in our family, all right, when we tell them the judgments that's about to come, when we tell them all these things that are written in the scriptures that are about to come to pass, even though we know, all right, a man shall not be a, a, a prophet in this country, all right, even though we know these things, we tell them, all right, but do they hearken? Do they listen? No. All right, but guess what? Out their mouth, they're going to tell you that. All right, they love the J word. They're going to tell you that, this and that. They're going to go to church on Sunday. All right, but guess what? Their mind is far, far from the Lord, man. And how do we know that? By their actions, what they do. All right? You know, just like the scripture says, man. All right? Um, faith without works is dead. All right? All these, you know, you could come out your mouth and say this and that. But it's about your action, man. It's about what are you really doing. All right? And, yep, this is what I wanted to. This is Matthew chapter 7. All right? This is Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Verse 22, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name have done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. All right. Hey, and that's what's going to happen, man. A lot of these Christians, man, the, a lot of these Christians, man, think that they actually doing what the Heavenly Father is requiring of them, man. All right, so in that day, the Lord is going to say what? De uh, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. All right? Because if the Lord knew you, you would be doing the things which the Lord has commanded you to do. All right? But these people think that they can sell off or go different paths, man. No, you got to go through that straight and narrow gate, man. All right? And these people are what? These people are trying to find their own way to the kingdom of heaven. It's not going to happen. All right? So that's why when that day comes, that what? The Lord is going to say, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity, man. All right? And this is what's going to happen. Because all these people, man, all right, had to, had the liberty had this grace period, all right, to get right. But what did they decide to do? They decided to follow after they lust. They decided to what? Lean to their own understanding, man. All right, and that's why the things that's what's going to happen has to happen, man. All right, now, I'm going to end it off with this. I'm going to uh, end it off with this. This is Matthew 11, chapter 17, and it reads, And saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. All right? Hey, and we tell these people, man. We tell these people this gospel. We tell these people that the Heavenly Father is your power. We tell you that you are the greatest people on the nation. We tell you that, that the great things that come, that is going to come in the kingdom of heaven. We told you the reason why we are in this condition is because what what we have done in the past. We have told all these people. All right? But have they but have they danced? All right. All right. We are more to these people. All right. And they have not lamented, man. All right. So all in all, man, the point has been made, man. All right. Two thirds, especially those that are in the churches, are going to have a, 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 a great judgment, man. All right. Because this whole time when they thought that they was serving. All right. Who they ignorantly called Jesus. All right. This whole time they thought they were serving all right, who they, uh, you know, Jesus. All right, but the whole time they wasn't, man. All right. So 
you know, I, I ain't so lucky. I know I rambled in this lesson, but, you know, I pray, you know, I, I made the point and this lesson was edifying. So with that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadas, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Eruel. Peace, blessings, and salutations to hopeful let's gather abroad. Till next time, Shalom and Abba.